out here. Come on, hurry it up. We ain't got all day. Hey, Casey! Check the serial numbers on those boxes. Get down there. Hurry up. Okay, set it down here. Come on, set it down. Come on, hurry it up. Set it down, will you? Are you crazy? Look at it. I'm giving the orders. Set it down here. Okay, boss. Paws off me. I've got a perfect right. The other guys may allow you on their pier sheds. That's their business, but you're going to stay clear of here, you understand? So come on, get out. Hey, Casey, would never let you do that. But where's Billy Casey now? Tell me that, will you? Where's he now, huh? Someplace you may get to see him soon. Uh, sitting up there laughing at you, that's what he's doing. Roaring his head off over what's going to happen to the likes of you. I'm taking enough of your gut, you dirty peddler. You're going to get out of here and stay out. <laughs> Twenty years I've been selling shoelaces around here. Pencils. No, no other company ever kicks me off their part of the, of the pier sheds. No, no other company kicks me off their loading platforms. Yeah. But maybe, maybe you ain't needing pencils. Maybe you can't even write. <laughs> Me lunch pail. Where's me lunch pail? You stole me lunch pail, you dirty thieving. Oh, okay, I'll give it to you. Get out of here. Here, you lady. Did he tell you what happened to Billy Casey last night, huh? What? You know who I mean. And the best loader you ever had, he was. The kind of man to make that, that thieving Robeson of yours there look Billy like... Billy Casey was killed at this end of the pier. That has nothing to do with our trucking company. Oh, that hasn't it now. And you think I'm going to tell that to the people? You wait and see. Uh, you. You, you and your fragile. Cape out. Precious cargo for China, huh? Mr. Rope! You murdered him. You murdered Billy Casey. That's what you've done. You murdered him. <laughs> ah, murder! That's what you are! A murderer! Concerned you, Mr. Brinkman. Oh, well, now, Casey was a very dear friend of mine, Lieutenant. I helped him when he fell on bad times, when he had to quit his job once and go into hiding, uh, but only to, to escape the clutches of a certain female bartender, that is. Ah, uh, so fond of living the poor dear lad was, Lieutenant. I see. Uh, but, but always grateful. Ah, uh, always the one to be grateful. Uh, since gaining his last employment, he has been helping me. Ah, uh, that he has indeed. With cash, every week, to help a, a poor, sick man pay his doctors. Mr. Brayton, you understand that I didn't handle the investigation on Casey's death. Investigation? Is that what you call it when the word accident is used as a winding sheet to hide a black murder? To hide the eyes of justice? You didn't tell me who you think murdered him yet. Well, now, now... I should think maybe uh, Mr. Ropes and, uh, and a more evil-hearted man you'll never meet, Lieutenant. I should uh, think he'd uh, bear a bit of uh, looking into. Yes, I should think he would. Is that all you can suggest? Well, now, would I be here talking if I had the truth already that I could take to a newspaper uh, so the whole world would know with maybe even, even me photograph on it? 
No, no, Lieutenant. All I want to see is justice. Justice for the memory of the poor dear lad. You'll have to find the facts. Excuse me. Would you be having a match, officer? Uh, thank you, sir. Much obliged to you. Uh, it is a wonderful thing to have police in the world. A wonderful thing for the law abiding. Yes, that it is. Uh, that it is indeed. Sounds like a crackpot. Maybe, Fred. Maybe just a liar. He must be. Look. Three eyewitnesses. Yeah, a kid named Whitey who runs the lift. Another guy by the name of Jake Lane. And a trucking foreman named Robeson. This guy that was killed, Casey. He was boss of a crew that unloads trucks. He was a hot-tempered guy, pretty reckless. But the safety committee of his union couldn't find anybody to blame. Oh, I see here. He died instantly. 11.30 p.m. Night shift. Company handles fragile stuff. It's taken right through the sheds onto freighters for the Orient. So they only unload trucks when the ship's in. Doesn't sound like very steady work. No. But Casey had over 300 bucks in his pocket. Well. Come on in here. How big is your Dr. Bills? Oh, that, that, uh, that Billy gave me uh, assistance on, is that it? Uh, well, now, it, uh, it might not all have gone to the doctors, you understand? Uh, uh, Billy was over generous. Well, that is, well, uh, what with the, the 25 uh, green dollars he, he forced me to take each payday, uh, some of it may have gone for uh, uh, medicines and such. Uh, but wait. But wait, I I is it the money you mean? If that has importance, his, his, his big, open, generous heart, then I can show you more evidence. Uh, yes, come along, gentlemen, come along. It is a blessed day indeed. If that's all you need, then we're near ready for a hanging. Maybe we better? I guess so. Get your hat and coat. Yeah. Uh, uh, one moment, gentlemen, one moment. I'll show you, I'll show you. Uh, uh, take a seat. Have a beer. Make it two. Oh, tell her. Tell them, Georgine. Oh, you get in my head. Nah, 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 nah. Tell them what I said. About Casey? Huh. Well, if he did give me money, is there anything to be ashamed of? Uh, it, tell them how much. Oh, drop off. I'm studying to be a model, I'll have you know. Casey was only invested in my future. Like he'd buy part of a racehorse, he said. Gee, poor guy. How much, Georgine? I didn't even know what happened till the next day. I was waiting for him there by the time clock till after midnight, only he never showed up. Gee, he was sure too young to die, wasn't he? Well, he was merely going to give me another 50 bucks, that's all. For my walking lessons, that's all. Now let go of me. Uh, a finer girl never lived, gentlemen. That was me on, me on daughter. Here. Give her this and tell her thanks. One's in the family. Workmen don't have that kind of dough. So, now who's lying? You think the doctor could have made a mistake about the time? Nope. 11.30. It happened by a stack of crates right next to the time clock. 
She just said she was waiting there till after 12. Yeah. What's on your mind? There's only one answer that I know of. Hi. Hi, my name's Kirby. Name's Jay Klein. I'm a replacement for that guy, Casey. There's a tall, skinny guy here yesterday to fill in. What happened to him? Well, search me. I got a call from the union, that's all. Well, just so long you don't carry cupcakes in lunchbox. The last guy ate nothing but cupcakes. Some guys I don't get. How do you like that? Nothing but cupcakes. Hey, watch it. What's the matter? This is where the crate fell on the guy, Casey. Yeah, I read the story in the papers. It was a tough accident. It happened around midnight. Did you see it? It was 11.30, bud. That was in the papers, too. Don't get sore. I was just curious, that's all. Okay, my name's Whitey. I'm the guy who was running the lift when that box fell on him. Why are you so interested? I just wanted to make sure I don't make the same mistake. Oh. Okay, sorry. It's all right. Skip it. Sure, these things just happen. I was bucking wheat sacks over in Brooklyn once. Boy, did you ever try to lift wheat sacks on an empty stomach? Grab it by one ear, see? And you throw your back into it. Only you're doing this on a platform. And you're throwing it off on a truck. Only the guy's got the truck in the wrong place. So he gets out of the cab. So I'm heaving, and he's grabbing. And he's standing there with his face open. Anyway, he's still got wheat in his ears. Type. A guy could do worse, buddy. She only happens to own the company. The customs men? Yeah. The stuff we unload from the trucks goes right onto the ships. They run spot checks on it. Okay, there's a truck in. Come on, you guys, let's get going. A new man, Mr. Robeson. Name's Kirby. Explain to him the stuff we handle is fragile. We don't want any butterfingers here. I'll do all right. Chin up, sailor. Won't be long. You've got a new man on tonight. Get rid of him. Who, Kirby? Well, what's the matter with him? He looks all right to me. Oh, customs giving you trouble. Just do as you're told. Get rid of him. truck's coming in. We won't need you. Don't worry. You'll get your time. Says who? I wasn't talking to you. No? Well, who's going to do his work if you knock him off? You're all mixed up, Chief. Go talk to the union. What are you, a guardhouse lawyer? I didn't want to tell you this, Kirby. I don't like your work. Why? I don't like the way you handle that last load on the lift. You weren't even here to see it. I handle that load. Me, union representative. Right as a letter. All right, let's get back to work and break it up. 
Well, what's eating that guy, anyway? Who cares? Oh, let him go soak his head. Come on, Whitey. Finish telling me about Casey's accident. That's all there was. It was really his fault. Yeah, careless. The boys told me he's the same way with his money. He always seemed to have a lot of it to throw around. I wouldn't know about that. It's no good talking about it. It's all over now. Let's forget it. Hey, Robson. Yeah, what do you want? I want to tell you what I just heard that new guy say. Yeah? Well, uh, now I've got the right, ain't I? The only company on the shed that won't let me round. You think I'm a coward? You think I'm going to take this land down? Go on, beat it. Uh, now, wait, 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 Lieutenant. What have you found, huh? What have you found? Who murdered the lad? Now, didn't me own daughter suggest they told lies about the places it happened, huh? Go on, beat it, I said. Haven't I got enough trouble around here without you sticking your nose in? Hey, Kirby! Hiya, Mr. Robeson. Oh, look what I found for you. You ask me this, so keep your mouth shut. Yeah, so you bounced back, huh? Thought I'd be off duty, I suppose. The working man needs the things I've got to sell. Take your hands off me. I've warned you before what I do. You murdered Billy Casey, and I'll see you dead for it. Take it easy, Mr. Robeson. I'll take care of him for you. Get around there. <laughs> What do you want to see me about? Kirby, you're all right. You're a regular guy. Come on, back to work. Yeah. Tell me something, Whitey. Sure. Why didn't you report that Casey was killed right here by the trucks? Who do you think you're kidding? I'm not kidding anybody. There must be a reason. They gave us 50 bucks, that's all. I figured I didn't do anything wrong. Who? Robeson. Why did he give you the money? I don't know. Look, my wife was sick and I needed the dough. Well, I won't get you in any trouble. Only how did it happen? Well, everything else happened just like we said. It looked like an accident, just like we told you. And Robeson said the company just got messed up in a lot of red tape. We said it happened unloading one of the trucks. Hey, what are you doing? I'm oh, just wondering why Robeson didn't want the inspector to look too close. You're crazy. That's just glassware. It's all been inspected. At least I think it has. Yeah, you're right. It's packed real careful. And right from here, it goes aboard a ship direct to China. Well, what did you find? Nothing. Just glassware. Just a minute. What do you want, lady? I thought Mr. Robeson laid you off. That's right. I was just on my way out. Step inside, please. You've been asking a lot of people questions. Why? As a matter of fact, lady, I wanted this chance to talk to you. Is that right? Yeah. Maybe some of the other men don't know why you gave Casey that extra money, but I do. Inspectors can't check every crate that goes on to appear. Things that are for export are checked at the factory anyway. But a trucking company can change the bills of lading, change the load. What do you mean? That's stuff that's easy to sell in China. And just what do you want? Maybe I'd like a crack at Casey's job. Oh? 
You're a big organization. You can afford it. Stay here. I'll be right back. You're a good man, Cubby. Ow! <laughs> okay, the coast is clear out there. Everything's all set. You too. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. no, you don't. No, you yeah, don't. I belong yeah, yeah. here. Let go. Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Hey. It's all right, Mac. Okay. And for your information, the lieutenant and me has been working this case together. Well, and I told you all along, smugglers they were, and the trucking company are doing it. That's right. But I warned you, that's the duty of a citizen. They hadn't murdered Casey. He'd have put a stop to that. I'm not so sure about that. Robeson was paying Casey to keep his mouth shut. But your friend Casey knew too much. So they decided to drop a box on him. Oh, but Casey... C Casey. Casey, now. Now, do you, do you suppose maybe... Maybe that could have been an assumed name? Could be. 